Hello, my name is Daniel Rodriguez, and I'm a senior at Paloma Valley High School. Um, our project was uh, for the competition at um, Mesa. It was the NEDC competition. We were supposed to solve a social inequity, and the project that we did was EVAS, Emergency Vehicle Alert System, which would help deaf drivers or hard of hearing drivers um, gain more knowledge about what's going around their vehicle through the to the method of an LED light. Uh, so here are some of the initial drawings that we had, some sketches that point out just the main features of the of the project itself, the Arduino, the LEDs, the sound sensor, and then the box overall. Um, I was mainly the the coder and like the technical guy, so I did all the coding for the like all the software for it. And uh, I was also responsible for looking at all the, how all the parts uh, plugged in, how they worked together, and how they responded to one another. So here are some schematics that we found online that helped us reverse engineer that. Um, here's what the project ended up looking like at the end. So it's a really simple setup, microprocessor, breadboard, LED light, and a sound sensor. And the rest of it's just software. Um, here's another picture of it up here. And then we also... Uh, did a model in CAD for a container uh, for the project, but we unfortunately didn't have time to 3D print it. And we also made a drawing file here, which we had to turn in. Uh, my thoughts on the project. So I thought it was a really unique and really um, just a really different project compared to other things we've done. So that was, that was a pretty cool thing. It, it was something that could affect other people's lives in a great way. And also um, something that was difficult about it was working as a team uh, through distance and communicating online and stuff was a little bit difficult for me as I like I like to see it and like hold it and look at it, what's wrong with it kind of thing. So that was, uh, that was a little bit difficult for me. And we also didn't really have a lot of knowledge about Arduino. So that made it just a little bit more difficult. Um, here's some links and some info. So here's the link to our prototype pitch video if you want to look it up and watch it. And also here's a parts list for all the things that we use. Uh, pretty simple, pretty simple list. And then also here's an example of our poster board uh, that we turned in. And let me move my camera so you can see the rest of it. Yeah, and there it is. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, overall, this project was uh, really fun and interesting. And it was uh, it was just cool to know that my project can make a difference in like in the real world at a, like a big scale. So yeah, thank you and thank you for listening.